hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video this video is gonna be about the person on your mind, what was their first impression of you, okay? So my pal number one, you're going to be the pink teddy. Pal number two, you're gonna be the yellow teddy. And pal number three, you're going to be the red teddy. So again, Pile number one, pink teddy. Pile number two, yellow teddy. And pile number three, red teddy. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the teddy that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below, and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi, pal one! Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So, my pal number one, you picked the pink teddy, and this is going to be your reading, okay? So, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number one, the person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? What was their first impression of you? So what do we have here? Pile number one. We have Capricorn Achieve. That you're a boss, that you're over, I'm getting like overachiever. You have like a strong presence, um, a little bit intimidating. Like they were a little bit intimidated by you. Like a high achiever. This is why I'm getting like, this is this person's first impression of you. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? Yeah, you see? Ace of Swords. I'm getting like truth speaker, honest. That was their first impression of you, that you were honest person, that um, not only that, I'm getting like truthful in your dealings. We have the Eight of Pentacles, definitely skilled and talented. That's something like overachiever, perfectionist. That was their first impression of you. I feel like the first time that they saw you, um, maybe you were at work. Maybe I'm also getting, maybe this person saw you um, like investing in some sort of endeavor. Like you were working really hard. Like you were very focused with the eight of pentacles. Yeah. Their first impression of you is that you get your wish fulfillment and that you are wish fulfillment. This person thinks highly of you. With the nine of pentacles and we have the ace of pentacles so this person's first impression of you is that you are established financially stable abundant with the nine of pentacles yeah ace of swords like definitely truthful the person on your mind what was their first impression of you what was their first impression of you that you are emotionally withdrawn that you don't really invest your emotions in things or you have a really good balance like you are emotionally mature or stable but i'm getting like emotionally withdrawn like it was kind of hard for them to read you the person on your mind what was their first impression of you what was their first impression of you yeah we have queen of pentacles that fell out there's another card that fell i'm gonna pick it up okay so reserved, cautious. That was their first impression of you. Queen of Pentacles, um, self-sufficient, independent. Okay, dependable. This is Capricorn energy with 
Taurus and Virgo but definitely four of pentacles this person saw that you were like thought they were, you were extremely guarded or that you were a snob like i feel like you were not really engaging with this person especially with the eight of cups like you felt like um this person felt like you were just you know you were disinterested in them that was their first impression of you so they were kind of like hesitant to talk to you the person on your mind what was their first impression of you yeah, you see the hermit, Virgo energy, a lot of earthy energy. Like you're definitely grounded, but like you're to yourself, like you're introvert. That was the first impression of you with the hermit card that you rather spend a lot of time alone. Or I'm getting like their first impression of you with the hermit. I don't know why I got that, that you get annoyed easily or you get annoyed. I, I don't know why I just heard stupid questions, <laughs> but this is what I'm getting here. That's this person's first impression of you. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands, okay? Their first impression of you is that you are fast-paced like um you grasp concept very quickly or you're very swift with your mind or you're always like you're action oriented that you don't like to stay idle for too long or not do anything for too long that's this person's first impression of you the person on your mind what was their first impression of you what was their first impression of you yeah we have the hangman okay like just um like i'm getting like with the hangman um not stagnant energy but like you take your time to make a decision or you take your time to let people in with the hangman and you look at things from a different perspective like you um i'm also getting like this person's first impression of you is that you're broad-minded you think outside the box i feel like this person may have met you at work or some sort of like business um not transaction but like maybe a business environment or it was like through work through a colleague but it was like mostly like okay not business but professional setting this is what i'm getting here this person probably may have met you in a professional setting we have the seven of wands like seven of wands is guarded energy so definitely this person's first impression of you was that you were guarded That you are like you have strong boundaries like it's not easy to talk to you or easy to get in your personal space that's what i'm getting like this person kind of felt like you get annoyed easily that was like their first impression of you that you like when somebody comes and asks you a question you you get annoyed that's what i'm getting here the person on your mind what was their first impression of you that's just their impression that doesn't mean that's who you are but i'm getting like that's what they thought okay the person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? What was their first impression of you? The magician, highly skilled, and that you prefer to work alone. That's why I'm getting like introvert. This is this person's first impression of you, that you were an introvert, that you prefer to work on your own terms. You don't like to be bothered. Don't be asking, like I'm getting like, don't ask me too many questions. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? What was their first impression of you? Yeah, wow. They thought that you were extremely beautiful with the Empress here. Very exotic looking. Taurus, Libra energy. Like very beautiful. That was this person's first impression of you or handsome here for the men watching. And we have the king and the queen of pentacles now we have the king of pentacles yeah definitely financially stable reliable like definitely they could count on you that was their first impression of you but i'm getting like that you're just mostly focused on your money like um you don't really have time for personal relationships that was their first impression of you or that you don't have any friends because you're so focused on work i feel like you do have friends but like work is a, a one of your top priorities because you have goals and dreams that you're trying to accomplish. 
like their first impression was that you go to work and you go home to your family if you have a family or you just go home to the people that you love you don't have like a social life that was their first impression of you like i feel like this person was shocked that you have friends when they like got to know you a little bit more the person on your mind what was their first impression of you just one card please your person on your mind what was their first impression of you we have the fool okay that you walk to the beat of your own drums you follow your own path you're optimistic Ooh, they thought that you were very sexy that was their first impression of you like you exude sexual energy potent energy their their first impression i'm also getting like you're celibate that you haven't gone on a date in a long time that was their first impression of you the person on your mind what was their first impression of you let me see what's this card oh gosh these nails okay wow we have temperance wise beyond your years but like you're more into books and studying that was this person's first impression i'm getting like this person didn't think that you go out with friends or that you like i'm really getting this person think that you haven't gone on a date in like a year or two yeah like that you're emotionally withdrawn eight of cups again that's this person's first impression of you i feel like when they spoke to you the first time i feel like you were not really engaged in the conversation or you're kind of like distracted so your mind was elsewhere it could have been like in your um like your mind could have been in your business it could have been like you know on your family on your work but it was just it wow i can't even speak it wasn't in the present moment and this is this person's first impression of you like your your mind is elsewhere your mind is always wondering that was their first impression of you or that you're emotionally withdrawn with the eight of cups being here twice the person on your mind what was their first impression of you what was their first impression of you wow we have a lover light attributes great passion and devotion umber drill appreciation of someone or something but you see this lover energy is more the passion and devotion that you have for your work that's why I'm getting this person to think that you're an overachiever. That was their first impression. That you overwork yourself. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? We have seeker, light attribute, thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. That's like Virgo energy. Because he's he's on a mission, but he's solo dolo. That's Virgo. That's kind of like similar to like the man on the card, like Virgo energy. This is somebody who likes to seek the truth. I mean, it's giving me Virgo. Um, uh, wow, Virgo and um, wow, I can't even think of this other sign. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, this the that's the energy the vibe that i'm getting from seeker card but this is what this person's first impression of you was like that you are you have a thirst for knowledge and wisdom and the truth and you like to seek it on your own like definitely hermit energy like you're solo dolo you prefer to be alone okay the person on your mind what was their first impression of you okay the person on your mind what was their first impression of you the person on your mind wow we have mentor light attributes passing on wisdom and refining a student's character you see wisdom is here twice they definitely um their first impression of you is that you're extremely wise beyond your years that you would make a great mentor this is what i was getting like maybe this person was like you were training this person or you were showing this person something or like some like that's something like on a professional level you guys probably met the person on your mind what was their first impression of you the person on your mind what was their first impression of you we have scribe light attribute preserving knowledge and information like yeah like you know a student of life or a teacher a guru a master this is what their first impression of you was like 
you're definitely the best in your field because we have the eight of pentacles we have the hermit and we have capricorn energy and we also have um sagittarius energy with temperance we also have the magician gemini virgo and then uh pisces energy with um the hangman so a lot of wisdom a lot of knowledge and intuition and also determination this person this is this first their first impression of you that you are determined wow we have athlete light attributes dedication to transcending like dedication this is like a word that keeps coming out your dedication your devotion definitely this is their first impression of you that you are a dedicated person that's that capricorn energy okay um it says dedication to transcending physical limits um including handicaps development of personal willpower and strength of spirit definitely strong character inner strength this is this person's first impression of you they definitely thought that you were a powerful person that you are strong on your own you don't really need a team of people to do what you got to do you could definitely um conquer the world all by yourself but this person feels like that that was their first impression though i don't think that they still feel like that about you is that like you know you you overextend yourself on your work side and you sacrifice your personal life this is this person's first impression of you it might have changed compared to when they first saw you but initially that's what they thought of you that you were sacrificing or overextending yourself in your work area and not balancing um your personal life okay so that's all i have for you my pal number one i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number one bye hi pal two welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number two you picked the yellow teddy and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way i like to do this is i like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings okay so my pal number two the person on your mind what was their first impression of you person on your mind what was their first impression of you what do we have here sorry about that guys so we have jupiter abundance you could be a sagittarius here i also heard pisces so this person thought that you were extremely abundant or that you're lucky that was their first impression of you they also their first impression that you were adventurous like luck is always on your side you have an abundant mindset that was their first impression of you the person on your mind what was their first impression of you my pal yeah, you see, King of Pentacles, that you are abundant, that you're grounded, that you have, that you're financially stable. The person on your mind, oh guys, I can't make it up. Nine of Pentacles, living a life of luxury, that you have expensive taste, that you're self-sufficient. That was their first impression of you. We have Virgo energy, so you could be a Virgo uh with a cray um i don't know why i said aquarius but i meant to say sagittarius um sun moon or rising or vice versa you could have aquarius as well in your chart but this person's first impression of you is that you are stylish as well yeah and i said expensive taste the person on your mind what was their first impression of you the person on your mind we have the knight of wands okay so they thought that you were flirtatious with the knight of wands 
okay um definitely player energy that was their first impression of you or that you have a lot of suitors people run after you that you get a lot of attention with the knight of wands that you are adventurous but i'm getting like flirtatious that was their first impression of you the person on your mind what was their first impression of you what was their first impression of you Ooh, we have the ace of cups that you have a healthy amount of self-esteem very loving very nurturing with the ace of cups that was their first impression of you we have the seven of wands seven of wands is a guarded energy seven of wands is like having healthy boundaries as well that you stand your ground that was the first impression of you i feel like maybe the first time that you guys met there was a situation where you where you had to stand up for yourself and i definitely they feel like you are courageous that was the first impression of you or that you just have strong boundaries okay that's way too many cards the person on your mind what was their first impression of you oh that you're imaginative with the page of cups I'm really getting like with the page of cups also forgiving very um e extremely sensitive that's what i'm getting here that was their first impression of you maybe they said something that rubs you the wrong way and they saw some sort of reaction from you with the page of cups the person on yeah i see ace of swords comes out as i said that some sort of reaction that you had to something that they said and they've noticed that you are extremely sensitive to maybe criticism that was their first impression maybe you were not sensitive but maybe you were like what they said just maybe rubbed you the wrong way you didn't really like what they, maybe the way they spoke to you or a word or something maybe they triggered you i'm getting like this is this person's first impression of you you may not have been triggered but they were under the impression that you were okay because we have this ace of swords here the person on your mind what was their first impression of you we have the six of wands that you were extremely um popular that you are successful but we have abundance so it makes sense that you are sought after or that you are in the public eye with the six of wands or that you have a successful business but like overall that you're successful in your personal life okay the person on your mind what was their first impression of you my pal number two Oh, you give them a nostalgic feeling with the Six of Cups, like they've known you from the past. I feel like maybe there was like an instant connection with this person. That was their first impression of you. They're, like maybe they've seen you interact with children or pets, like animals. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? What was their first impression of you? We have the page of pentacles a little bit guarded with the page of pentacles or like you were keeping them at arm's length with the page of pentacles like you definitely had a friendly disposition to you but you still had strong boundaries and it makes sense because we have the seven of wands here as well the person on your mind what was their first impression of you yeah i see a lot of like youthful energy page of wands optimistic exciting i'm getting like flirtatious energy this is this person's first impression of you they thought that you were flirting with them maybe you're just being nice and polite and they thought that you were flirting but there's a lot of flirt flirtatious energy playfulness that was their first impression of you like very playful um childlike i'm not getting childish but childlike nature to you but also guarded like you know you were just um scheming on the surface with this person you weren't going too deep like you were not letting this person in right away that was their first impression of you because we have the seven of wands so you were definitely uh guarded the person on your mind what was their first impression of you we have the eight of pentacles definitely skilled and talented that was their first impression of you dedicated a hard worker the person on your mind what was their first impression of you oh that you're family oriented with the ten of cups the person on your mind what was their first impression of you we have death 
Scorpio energy. There's like definitely an air of mystery to you. Very resilient, but also sensual, seductive. That's why I was getting flirtatious. That was their first impression of you. Like you were alluring. You could be um, Scorpio, um, Sagittarius cuss. Don't have to be, but that's what I'm getting here. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? Yeah, Queen of Wands. I'm telling you, a lot of like passion, magnetic energy. Their first impression of you is that you were extremely confident in yourself, extremely confident in what you bring to the table. Beautiful, exotic looking. That was their first impression of you. Um, this person thought that you were a model as well or that you are an influencer. That was their first impression of you that um, like um, things are paid for you or that you worked really hard to accomplish that like the life that you have right now guys i can't even speak i feel like that's how this person felt the first time that they saw you yeah we have the queen of pentacles with the king of pentacles i'm telling you this person felt like you were abundant that you were financially stable that you worked really hard but also that you people bear gifts like give you gifts like you're able to charm others to make them give you things. That was this person's first impression of you. Maybe they've seen people giving you free drinks or free coffee or something like that. Maybe you guys met at a restaurant or a cafe, but you guys like during the time that this person first saw you, a lot of people give you some sort of gift. It could have been like small token, like, you know, open the door for you and give you a free coffee. You get in like a parking spot where you wanted to. Like I'm getting like this person noticed that things happen to you. Like you get abundance every area of your life. That was their first impression of you. Like you have the power to influence others. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? What was their first impression of you? Yeah, you see, it's a cups. Like you get a lot of love. People love you. People gravitate towards you. Self-love and love for others, but people's love for you as well. That was their first impression of you. I'm also getting popularity, even though we don't have the star. But I'm getting that vibe. That was their first impression of you, that you are extremely popular. That's why I'm getting like influencer. They thought that of you. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? The person on your mind, just one card, please. Spirit, just one. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? Wow, we have the lover. So light attributes, great passion and devotion, unbedrill appreciation of someone or something. Yeah, people just love you or that you are a lover. That was their first impression of you, that you will make a great partner, a great spouse, or people just love you. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? Just one card, please. The person on your mind. We have mediator, light attributes, gift of negotiating fairness and strategy in personal and professional life, respect for both sides of an argument. Mediator. They definitely felt like their first impression was that you were a mediator, but also like a diplomat. That's that's giving me um Libra energy, okay? People person. This is why I'm getting like you have a way, like I feel like this person's first impression of you was like that you were a finesser because people just you know gravitate towards you. Like I said, they would give you things and you know you have the gift of negotiating so you know how to negotiate your way out of any situation and that's what this person's first impression of you was the person on your mind what was their first impression of you what was their first impression of you the person on your mind okay just one card please what was their first impression of you Okay, that's way too many cards. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? What was their first impression of you? We have, okay, no, that's two cards, that's just one. 
Okay, we have detective, light attributes, great powers of observation and intuition, desire to seek out the truth. So they definitely saw you as a detective. You could see right through people and you have great power of observation and intuition. Like I feel like maybe when you guys met, um, you knew certain things about them or you were able to observe certain things about them and you were right on the dot when you mentioned it to this person and that's what they that was their first impression of you like you're very keen you have a very uh keen eye to see things that a lot of people may miss okay the person on your mind what was their first impression of you i i heard regal royal maybe you have leo in your chart the person on your mind what was their first impression of you the person on your mind oh we have storyteller light attribute ability to express and oh no, to experience and express life through story and symbols maybe they thought that you were a storyteller or you were a really great communicator you were awesome at telling um, a story or like just expressing your well, yourself through words and symbols. That was this person's first impression of you. You're a great communicator. Ooh, we have king. That's what was getting regal energy because I saw the queen, but it didn't come out. Now the king is coming out, so it makes sense. Light attributes, enlightened, um, benevolent leadership, benefiting those in your charge. So definitely they saw you as regal, powerful. And I'm also getting honorable. That was their first impression of you. This person puts you on a pedestal too. Okay. Sorry about that guys. So pile number two, as I was saying, um, this person, like they definitely put you on a pedestal, but also with the king energy, like this is giving me emperor vibe so this person definitely puts you on a pedestal in a sense where their first impression of you is that you have great leadership skills okay that you are a boss maybe this person thought that you were like a ceo or own your own company and it does make sense because we have the king of pentacles and we have the nine of pentacles so definitely self-sufficient energy that was their first impression of you okay they definitely thought that you were a boss like you radiate boss like energy to this person okay so that's all i have for you my pal number two i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number two bye Hi Pal3, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So pile number three, you picked the red teddy and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous spa or previous readings, okay? So my pal number three, the person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? So what do we have here for you, my pal number three? We have, ooh, eighth house, mystery. They thought you were mysterious. That, that's, that's that Scorpio energy, I can't even speak. Okay, mysticism. They thought this, you were magical. That was their first impression of you. Elegant, I got. Charming and alluring. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? What was their first impression of you? Ooh, they thought that you were extremely beautiful, exotic, powerful, vibrant. Yeah, a lot of beauty, a lot of um, seduction as well. That was their first impression of you. They thought that you were joyful, like easygoing. But there was like an air of mystery like there was more to you than meets the eyes 
you have a piercing uh, vibrant look to you in your eyes the person on your mind yeah ace of swords the truth they thought like their first impression of you is that you were honest um, a little bit um, direct with the ace of swords the person on your mind what was their first impression of you oh we see king of swords extremely intelligent well versed in scriptures i don't know why i got that maybe you are religious or you're well versed in your scriptures you know um like you know the bible like the back of your hand or you may be really good with um the quran i'm getting and this person they've noticed that was their first impression of you that you are extremely wise beyond your years yeah we have grounded energy with the queen of pentacles like they definitely thought you were grounded as a woman or as a man it doesn't matter the energy here i'm getting like it's um just uh, this person thought like their first impression of you as well is that you are extremely maternal that you may be a mother or you may be a father that was their first impression of you that you're family oriented that you're financially stable as well that you are abundant the person on your mind what was their first impression of you just one card the person on your mind yes we have the star popular extremely popular well liked well known influential as well that was their first impression of you maybe when you guys first met everybody was surrounding you or everybody was like you know in your energy what everybody wanted to talk to you you were the talk. maybe like you are the talk of the town yeah we definitely have king of pentacles so husband wifey material that was their first impression of you or that you are a manager or a ceo a boss or like you are self-employed that was their first impression of you the person on your mind what was their first impression of you yeah we have the high priestess cancer energy there's definitely an air of mystery to you and that was this person's first impression of you that you're mystical magical highly intuitive i feel like you sense th sense things about this person that most people don't and I feel like that will, that's the reason why this person thought that you were mystical or magical. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? Yeah, charming. Knight of Cups. A lot of water and earth energy here. We have a little bit of fire and air, but predominantly earth and water I'm getting here. Okay. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? What was their first impression of you? I'm getting like smooth operator. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? Wow, the Empress. They thought that you were extremely beautiful, handsome here, creative, like definitely breathtaking beauty. Some of you, they may have thought that you were a model or you were into fashion yeah nine of cups that you get your wish fulfillment or that you are wish fulfillment like i feel like this person was like love at first sight that's the energy i'm getting from them the person on your mind what was their first impression of you yeah we have the eight of pentacles that you are extremely skilled that you could be a perfectionist that you're dedicated and focused like you pay attention to details but definitely with the Empress being here, there is um, an air of a feminine touch to you. And this person, that was their first impression of you, that you are in touch with your feminine side. Whether you are male or female here, that was this person's first impression of you, that you are extremely feminine or that like if you are a man watching, that you are in touch with your feminine side, that you're very clean, well put together, you smelled nice, I'm getting. That was this person's first impression of you, that you smell extremely nice. That you have an amazing taste, a sense of fashion. I'm getting here. Like your clothes, you dress really well. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? Ooh, you see Eight of Pentacles again. 
definitely skilled, talented, dedicated, paying attention to detail. Yeah, extremely focused. Yeah, that the their first impression that is that you're detail oriented. The person on your mind. What was their first impression of you? Ooh, we have the six of wands that you are extremely successful. People look up to you. You are victorious. You are celebrated. We have the ace of pentacles. Yeah, that you are celebrated or that you are financially stable or you bring a lot of abundance or like you're just a, an abundant person. What the person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? Yeah, we have the knives of pentacles. This is like the page of pentacles that you could be grounded or that you could be reserved. I'm getting that was their first impression of you, even though like people um, like gravitate towards your energy because you're popular. I'm getting like, or you're just very attractive. You have like a vibrant energy to you, but there's also um, like privacy, like you're a private person. Yes, you definitely um, allow people to be in your energy. You chill with people. You're very joyful, uh, cordial with people. However, there is definitely an air of like um, boundaries with you. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? Just one card. The person on your mind. Thank you. Ooh, six of cups. Okay, you give them a um, nostalgic feeling. Um, their first impression of you is that they've met you before. Like, even if it's not like in this lifetime, they feel like if they met you in a different lifetime, there was like an instant connection here or a spiritual connection between you and this person. I feel like this person kind of felt like you were the one for them. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? Yeah, you see Ace of Cups. There's definitely love here. Like this person fell in love with you. I'm getting like, I did see that love at first sight because that's what I was getting here. That's how this person felt. That, that was their first impression. Like, you know, um, I'm getting like, they felt like it was love at first sight with you. Like you were the one. The person on your mind. What was the first impression of you? What was their first impression of you? Yeah, you see three of cups again. Joyful energy friendliness extremely friendly and easy to talk to but like i said there's definitely that air of mystery like there's more to you okay you're deep there's depth to you that's this person's first impression of you like they and i'm also getting like this person they were like i gotta get to know him or i gotta get to know her there's something about him or there's something about her that i can't put my finger on that just attracts that's so attractive you know that's what that was this person's first impression of you like they had to get to know you yeah you are extremely guarded seven of wands like yes you're joyful you're friendly okay when it comes to general information when it's not about like your personal life or personal business i feel like when it comes to your personal life personal business you're more guarded you don't really tell people you don't show your hands you only tell them what you want them to know and that was this person's first impression of you that you are like, even though you are friendly with people, you talk, it's not like you, people can't talk to you, but when it comes to your personal business, there is definitely a boundaries there. So the person on your mind, what was their first impression of you guys? Queen light attributes radiates the regal feminine uses her benevolent authority to protect others. And I'm getting, you see, I said radiate regal feminine. And I did say a feminine energy. This is how this, this was this person's first impression of you. And I can't even speak. Definitely queen regal energy. The person on your mind, what was their first impression of you? Ooh, we have night. Light attributes, loyalty, romance, chivalry, and love of honor. I'm getting like Knight of Cups energy with the knight. I always get that energy with the knight. Very loyal, romantic. That was their first impression of you. Very charming, honorable. 
the person on your mind what was their first impression of you the person on your mind what was their first impression of you Ooh, we have poet light attribute expresses souls soul insights in symbolic language okay so definitely this is like the smooth talker smooth operator very sweet with your words that was this person's first impression of you poetic romantic i'm getting like romance the person on your mind what was their first impression of you i feel like this person idolizes you and they still do the person on your mind what was their first impression of you just one card please oh guys this person puts you on a pedestal angel light attribute helping those in need with no expectation in me of return guys this person definitely puts you on a pedestal that was like their first impression of you heaven sent angelic that's what i was getting like idolizing you the person on your mind what was their first impression of you just one card spirit the person on your mind what was their first impression of you just one card please wow yeah this person really thinks highly of you and probably still does a healer light attributes passion to serve others by repairing the body mind and spirit ability to help transform pain into healing i feel like this person's first impression of you is that the reason why you are guarded is because you've been through a lot in your life you've been hurt before so you don't let people easily into your world with the healer that you have like this healing vibe to you because we have um i think we have the star i did believe seeing the star so definitely healing vibe you're very popular so you need to protect your energy so that's why you have like this um shield around you you are protecting yourself from energy vampires that you're protecting for yourself from people that don't mean you no good and this person's first impression of you was just that that the reason why you are guarded or you have an air of mystery to you is because you're protecting yourself you're protecting yourself from people that want to take advantage of you and that was their first impression of you that you have a lot to offer and that you have a big heart but there is definitely some sort of like guard with you you're extremely guarded the person on your mind what was their first impression guys i can't make it up mystic and that's exactly what i said light attribute reveals um uh, reveals an intimate union with the divine that's exactly what this person thought of you the first impression that you are divine or that you are mystical that's why we have eighth house mystery there's an air of mystery to you um i feel like this person was a little bit intimidated by you because i feel like they felt like you could see right through them with the high priestess and the mystic and the mystic wow i can't even speak mystic oh my accent yeah this is like how this person uh, that was their first impression when they first saw you mystical magical um highly intuitive scary i'm getting as well they were a little bit scared of you like i'm not getting like anything bad they were just scared because they sensed that you could you have like this power in you that you could see right through them like they felt naked in your presence in the sense that you could see right through their soul that was their first impression of you so if this person did not make too much eye contact with you that was the reason why okay so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number three bye